Hello folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's around 1.30 a.m. here in Dhaka. I'm doing a couple of episodes. This is the second and the last one of them. And this is a list. <clears throat> As you can see, it's a summer list once again, summer nights. Um, these are about blue fragrances, okay? 12 I have here. And these I picked up randomly, whatever came to my mind and I thought would be a good choice. There are plenty more out there. Blue fragrance are literally like thousands out there. And I do own so many more. So some, some will not be featured here because, yeah, to make a way for 12 fragrances, some 100 fragrances, sacrifice them, you know. So some of these, just let you know, are not really blue, blue, but the name or the theme they've gone for are blue. So it could be a blue or blue, <clears throat> but they have their differences. And each fragrance is different from each other here. And some of them are really my favorites, especially the top five you'll see. Uh, they are my more uh, special but uh, to each his own so i will uh, let you know uh, what do they smell like and uh, what i like about them uh, if it's for you or not it's up to you but test the fragrance before you buy so the theme is blue fragrance you can wear for night time daytime you can wear versace forum something like <coughs> aqua di Gio or uh, nautica voyage versace menu fresh but i feel these fragrances do not do justice at night they don't really float around that much because they need heat but some of these fragrances here, they can also be worn during the daytime, but mostly they work perfect for nighttime because they have a little hint of darkness somewhere, okay? Or a little bit uh, more substance than just blue. So let's go one by one, you will see. So the very first fragrance is number uh, 12. Is this fragrance, it's a, actually a blue bottle, but it's not a blue fragrance, but you can wear this for nighttime. This is called a Latafa Hayati, okay? This fragrance is a beast mode fragrance and it's a dupe of somewhat, you can say, a scandal by Jean Paul or uh, Pakuraban Phantom, those those uh, DNAs, sweet DNAs, caramel, playful, nighttime, uh, sugary, this kind of uh, smell, a lot of tonka, uh, sweet, sexy beast, projects a lot. This is something I would wear in a clubbing setup. Very useful fragrance and very, uh, I would say, not manageable, very affordable perfume, okay? So this is not a blue fragrance, but a blue bottle. So I borrowed it from the blue. Uh, family so latafa's hayat is number 30 number 12 is a fragrance not everybody loves this is my least favorite from the line but i actually will tell you for night time is pretty good this aqua essenziale bleu or blue by salvatore ferragamo beautiful bottles these bottles are so stunning to look at even though simplistic but these metal plates here looks nice and the bottles are very heavy and solid feels robust so this one is a fresh perfume with a hint of uh, like a tonka sweetness okay woody Tonka. Uh, so this is more of a sweeter blue fragrance than fresh okay uh, this fragrance is excellent push i wear it less because this one actually kind of chokes me sometimes because the sweetness can come off as a bit too harsh uh, i think it would be really good for winter as well but summer nights if it's rained okay or it's just a breezy night easy going uh, weather not really uh, sticky and uh, sweaty or humid this fragrance will really do good at night time. You can wear this for your dating scenario, going out, meeting, dinner, whatever. Equessenzale, blue by Salvatore Ferragamo. <clears throat> number, now I think number 10. Okay, I, I lost track anyway. <laughs> 12, 11, number 10, yeah. This is perhaps a discontinued fragrance because I don't really see it everywhere. I got it because I love this DNA. This is from House of Kenzo. Low Kenzo Intense. So the original one was called Low Par Kenzo. Then they discontinued that. And they made low Kenzo or Kenzo low, okay, something like that. They have for women, men. But uh, the intense one here, uh, it's something like with a twist. It's got sweetness. It has a uh, citrus, maybe yuzu, something like a lemony uh, blue opening, but then goes towards direction of Invictus, Invictus intense like those, but not to be smooth, okay. But it has a little bit more body to the original low par. Low par was very aquatic, watery, and uh, ozonic. This one is not ozonic. This one is really interesting perfume. Kenzo makes some good fragrances. But if you hate Invictus, perhaps still should give it a chance because it's not really as annoying as Invictus, not as sweet. More blue Invictus like, okay? Maybe something like Legend. Low Kenzo, intense. That's number 10. Number 9 is one of my newer fragrances. very different from the whole line. This is called Chrome by Azaro. Parfum or Parfum. <clears throat> Sorry. Man, my throat, it's really bugging me for a very long time it's taking time to clear out anyway i can smell that's the best thing uh thankful to god for that this one right here very different from the whole chrome line this one has a balsamic far or something green like a farm kind of a note it has aquatic oceanic at the same time it's 
a sage and then far something like a green like if you know sick eternity edp less sweet version of that more herbal green watery aquatic okay this is a fragrance i recommend for winter as well as summer but night time this is kind of like a suit perfume beautiful longevity seven eight hours straight up uh, no issue with performance and one of the best flankers that chrome ever released chrome perfume check it out uh, underrated fragrance for sure then the next one number eight is one of my favorite fragrances it's fresh it uh, can be worn in winter as well got good performance some people hate it i hate the bottle but i love this fragrance because i love the original of it this is called afnan turati Turati simply, but it's also should be called as Turati Blue. So there is Turati Brown that is sim clone of something else. Okay, uh, I think Weissel Tuxedo that one, but this one is Bulgari's Tiger, and Bulgari's Tiger is hands down the best grapefruit fragrances with Iso Super Ambrox and beautiful beast mode. Simplistic yet like very potent. Like everybody smell you, you go nose blind to it, it comes back to you. Three four days on shirt that lasts. This one will last you about eight to ten hours. Excellent uh, push. But there is this twist of Middle Eastern uh, wind or breeze with a heavy mask, which I think it's a little bit darker blue tone to the tiger. So it's a bit different, but it's very enjoyable. Some of the other dupes are very, very good, but Turati blue is the name. So it's in the list. A really good fragrance for day and night time. <clears throat> now, uh, number seven. Yeah, number seven is David of Cool Water Intense. Another blue fragrance theme, but it's not as blue as it pretends to be this is very different from cool water original perfume uh, this one is heavy on tonka kind of like a coconutty sweetness fruity and it's very strong this fragrance is a beast it's one of the best performers in the list you guys know that and i really wanted this fragrance to be a stronger version of cool water original but whatever they gave i don't mind because i love sweet fragrances this is a fragrance night out even if you take a trip like are you going for a flight okay as well as eight to ten hours flight this fragrance can assure you that you're going to get performance for the whole trip. Even if you get off from the shirt, you'll get your fart dry down. Beast Mode Fragrance, Cool Water Intense by Davidoff. Affordable, Beast Mode, Sweet Night Out Fragrances. So, <clears throat> number six, then we hit top five. Number six is another wannabe blue fragrance. Uh, this is called Plada Luna Lota. <laughs> Sometimes I, I do fumble. Prada Luna Rosa, Ocean, EDP, Concentration. So, this is kind of like a I don't want to say better man but more powerful version of the ocean the original ocean is more safer blue oceanic fragrance but this is not this fragrance on me it's more sweet it definitely feels uh, aquatic oceanic but there's like a presence of maybe mandarin orange something sweet and i follow the notes to be honest but it feels sweet at the base maybe there is a tonka something presence there it makes the fragrance sweeter so uh you get somewhat like a blue dark voyage sort of a theme at the same time you get some sweetness and some freshness that prada usually gives the fragrance actually takes time to grow on you i almost sold it off uh, but i still have it so this is a very high class fragrance very expensive perfume but um, the fragrance uh, maybe it's not the most unique fragrance that's the one thing downside but good fragrance for night out prada lunar rosa ocean edp uh, prada always gives quality <clears throat> not of five Let's go one by one. Top five are my favorites. Dylan Blue. Old batch versus new batch. There's a debate. Some people say, hey, do not get the older batch. I mean, new batch because the new batches are weak. So far, you know, this is my older bottle, but the newer ones I tried, they also are beast mode. I don't know what people are talking about. What are your expectations? I mean, do you want like a 50 hour, 24 hour? That's not going to happen, bro. I mean, from no fragrances, you get that. Unless it's like something like Philip Plain Skull version or something like uh, Nishane. But this is for a blue fragrance like a shower gel sort of blue this is pretty long lasting it projects a lot at night time i get compliments daytime winter summer this is like one fragrance does it all like it can replace your dior sauvage that's what i'm trying to say so dylan blue definitely one of my favorite youthful fragrance but more and more you wear it it grows on you number four blue but not blue Le Bleu de Se by Isimiyake. sadly it's a shame they discontinued this and i bought a backup bottle from one of my brothers i have a big bottle which has about this much juice left that one finishes i'll open this this fragrance is very hard to find now prices are going high when it was available nobody bought it nobody what is so great about it most unique if you ever seen some of the most unique designer fragrances 
this has to be it, niche quality okay and this is a very interesting complex perfume like niche style okay it got rosemary lime uh, i'm looking at uh, fragrant orange wood because it's complex then it has mandarin orange lemongrass then the big note is cypress okay juniper ginger lavender pink pepper star anise you see what's happening here and that's not all they have more may rose uh, <laughs> i don't know nasturtium i don't know what that is looks like something herbal or floral then atlas cedar patchouli oak moss sandalwood amber ambret musk mellow okay so i don't i'm not gonna say i smell all that but mostly i smell that uh green um medicinal breezy uh pine needle you know like that kind of feel aromatic because of the lavender and then cypress and rosemary definitely are the two big stars with the dry down of star anise this is really really something okay you must find this fragrance most interesting fragrance in the whole list okay that's like number uh, four number three Bleu de chanel maybe worthy of number one many years back now uh due to severe reformulation people hate the ADT version but i like it because it's the lightest and nighttime it it somewhat like feels right if there's no sun it performs okay like solid five to six hours so if you spray a little bit more double double shots you'll get that five to six but when it was released first i heard this used to be a straight up beast 15 20 hours people used to get then i would say sizes like currently get an edp or powerful okay those will be better edp is the best value but for summer man blood chanel is sort of like a the smell the opening is a thousand dollar opening you gotta give it that no matter how many clones i thought of putting arm off uh the untold no the I forget this name all the time yeah the iconic oh, supposedly a dupe of that but i cannot say i love this mode than blood chanel because even though that one is a beast mode but blood chanel that opening man just stunning mint the incense the grapefruit beautiful perfume okay that's like number three so what are number one and number two uh what are better than blood chanel i'm not gonna say these are better but in my world i like them better number two polo blue parfum interesting fragrance definitely because if you have been a fan of blue, polo blue you will enjoy this there have been polo uh i think polo blue uh edp maybe there was a lep perfume there was a ocean deep blue something there are many other versions but in the end i enjoyed the maturity of it the most the winter time this thing was magical seven eight hours good performance because this one has an undertone of leather and a little bit of a uh, oak moss something at the base this more base than the original polo blue so it's interesting okay so it is very high class just like bloody chanel you can wear it with a suit night out high class rich people okay polo blue powerful so what's my number one uh, any guesses uh, no you won't be able to guess because this is my favorite this is my world this is kenzo man kenzo wins uh harakiri or oh, not harakiri is like self-destruction what is it flawless victory okay so yeah uh kenzo Om edp amazing fragrance amazing so so good this one definitely has a leather undertone with a fresh blue accord up top very simple there is definitely a usage of heavy yuzu that you get in isimiyake house but it's blue it's smoky it's spicy it's leathery and i in a face of between this and blood chanel i picked this up and they did intense which is more towards uh ganymede this one is ganymede and blood chanel mixed and with that added leather and the smoke and spices such a beast mode fragrance such an executive luxurious perfume for fraction of a price this is cheaper than this one this one many of the other one prada one that's what makes it a champ so there you go 13 uh 13 right yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirteen twelve i forgot maybe twelve yeah uh these are good blue fragrances for nighttime even though i did a little bit of cheating give them a try if you don't have any of these they're worthy of checking out have a nice thanks for watching See you soon. Bye-bye.